Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. So this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the first two weeks of April. So April 1st through the 15th. Now keep in mind the timing is fluid. Um, I already did an April reading. I will tag it to the end of this. Uh, if you'd like to purchase this deck, the link is in the description box below. This is the card that fell out. I am going to show it to you and then I'm going to put it back in. We're going to keep going. Money, stocks, whatever, going down. So your bank account, you know, I think you need to pay attention to your money. It looks like there could be a decrease in money. Um, you need to be careful with your money, okay? Uh, that is money going downhill, finances going downhill. Pay attention to your money, okay? Um, don't waste your money during this time. So what do we have? What do we have for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising? Oh, we had one flip. Shared values. So you may be dealing with somebody, and, it, and values often represent money that is needing your money okay somebody may want your money they may want you to spend their money maybe they don't they don't have any money to contribute i think that you need to be really really careful okay i feel like there's like you're dealing with somebody who you know you're not on the same level with i don't i feel like you're not in the on the same uh you know, they're, they're, you, there's not shared values with this person. So I think that you need to be careful with who you invest in because that was an investment card, okay? Um, be careful with any investments this week, okay? Be really careful. Don't sign any contracts, okay? That was an agreement. Shaking hands is making an agreement with somebody. If somebody wants you to sign a, a contract that has to do with money, don't do it in these next two weeks. My advice is to wait. Wait until later on in the month because it doesn't look like it's a good time to sign any contracts. And usually contracts involve money. No, now is not the time. You may be dealing with somebody who is um, scamming you, okay? Time out. Time out. Take time to think about whatever it is that you are being proposed. This is time out. It also it looks like a T. Hold. Hold, hold, hold. Unexpected help is arriving. What else? Enemy disguised as a friend. Oh boy. Oh boy. So you may have a friend that wants you to help them or something like that. Be careful. Be careful. Opportunity is in the palm of your hand. This is something about money, okay? You might want to, you notice that hand. I'm going to get it up there so it will focus. I'm going to be buying a camera in the next, well, I was going to say two weeks, but we'll see. I'm a Capricorn moon. I might want to wait to buy my camera. Um, I was going to say in the next two weeks, but I'll think about that. Anyhow, opportunity is in the palm of your hand. See the palm of the hand? And it is interesting because I have a card in the palm of my hand. Um, and there's, if you, I don't know if you can see the hand in the background here. Okay, opportunity is in the palm of your hand. It's interesting that I saw hands. And there's hands here too. Be careful, be careful with who you are shaking hands with, who you are having a contract with. Be really, really careful, okay? I feel like you have an opportunity. You may, and this is a singular opportunity. You may be better off working by yourself than working with another person. I feel like you have somebody coming in that may want to want to partner up with you. They want to, they say that they're going to help you, and it's not really your friend. This is somebody who doesn't have will not add value to your situation but you may think they are your friend and i think that you need to be damn careful with whoever it is that you're dealing with by the looks of things 
I feel like you have something of value and they want to partner up with you. Obviously, you do. It's in your hand. They want a piece of it. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. It's not a wise decision. This is a golden opportunity you have in your hand. This is in the future, okay? We always go from past, present, now to the future. So in the future, you have the opportunity. You have the you long-term stability, success, permanency. You have an opportunity. It's in your hand. Do not give it away. Save it. Hold on to it. Hold on to what you have. Save your money. Keep it in the bank. This is the bank. Okay, keep it in the bank. Do not sign any agreements with anybody in the next two weeks. Knight of Swords. This is your enemy. This guy is as a friend. Somebody is going to come rushing in with something. This person may seem as though they're saving the day, but I don't think you can trust them. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be anybody. This person is, they're on a mission. They have a plan. They're putting their plans in action. They're making a move. World card. King of Pentacles reversed. They, this, they, this is a loss of money. It is a loss of stability. Do not spend your money. Save your money. That's a big, big message. You have somebody here that does not have anything of value to offer you. They are probably struggling financially. They may they may see, think that you're struggling financially or they think that they're coming in to help you. Not in the end. That's not going to happen in the end. Okay? <laughs> mm. The world card is a completion of a cycle. It's leaving something in the past. This is the end of a project or a phase in your life. This is a major completion of a cycle. Hopefully you have learned your lesson. You have an untrustworthy individual that is coming into your life, okay? They are coming into your life. This is somebody that you know. This is somebody you have already dealt with in the past. They're coming in out of nowhere with some sort of offer. This is something somebody that you have probably already ended it with. You've probably already ended, you know, whatever relationship this was with them. It's probably already over. King of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody that is more interested in money than anything. That's all they care about is money and financial stability in themselves. This is a selfish, selfish, ruthless. I think it's like criminal. <laughs> this is like criminal activity. You may have a past with this person. It's already been over with this person. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It feels like this person is after something that you have. Six of Pentacles reverse. Well, absolutely. They want to take. They don't. This will not be an equal opportunity. This is not an equal opportunity. This is a thief. This is a theft. Okay. This is an injustice. This is an abuse of generosity. Abuse of power. This is a fraud. Oh, my God. You got a fraud here. You got somebody. This is like a con man or a con woman or something like that. You have to be very, very careful. This is a very greedy individual that wants to take something from you. Okay? But that world card is an accomplishment. It is a completion. It is uh, completing one cycle and beginning a new one. It's right in the middle. It's the now energy. You've already ended this a cycle with this person Okay, you've already ended a cycle. Do not let this person come rushing back in and pretend that they are all nice and sweet and helpful. They are not. This person has their own agenda and it is about getting what they can get from you because I mean, they don't have a damn thing to offer you. 
It will not pay out on the in the end. You will consider it a thief. You will consider it thievery in the end. You'll be like, oh my God, I was ripped off. You will get ripped off. You will. But this is ignoring advice as well. So I do believe that you, you need to be very, very, very careful. You do. You got somebody here that is corrupt. Whether, I mean, these readings can go vice versa as well. I mean, the emperor in reverse is somebody that may uh, pretend that they're experienced. They're not very experienced. This is a corrupt leader that has deserted you in your time of need. This is somebody that is looking out for number one and looking out for number one only. This could be a father figure, a boss, a husband, could even be a mother. This is somebody that is very selfish and conceited and entitled that doesn't really want responsibility. This person is lazy. They want to sit back and watch you do the work and get paid for it. The answer is no. Do not take the opportunity. Do not. You have a better opportunity doing it by yourself, whatever this is. The opportunity is in your hand, okay? Maybe you have a gift or you have some sort of something you can sell. It's yours, not theirs. Don't give it to them. This person is not really interested in helping you. They are not. They want to get what they can get out of you, but that's it. This is somebody that is on the wrong side of the law. This is like a thief coming in out of nowhere. They may be coming in as your savior. I'm coming in. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you with these money problems. I'm going to help you with this. I'm going to help you with that. Well, they have a hidden agenda. The answer is no. Thank you. I can take care of it by myself. There could also be a change in residence here with that world card. You know, there could be. That's like going to a new destination. It's traveling. That cycle is over. There could be a change in residence. This person thinks they're, you know, they want to team up with you. They're going to give you the money to move something. No. Mm -mm. You do it by yourself. We have somebody here that has made some poor financial decisions. Maybe they've done it in the past. Do not repeat those same mistakes. Save your money. No victory. Six of Wands reversed. So Six of Wands reversed is losing. This person is all show. This is somebody that has no staying power. This is unwelcome news. It is a setback. It's going in the wrong direction. It, there's no victory. There's no progress that will be made. You're dealing with a very cocky, extremely prideful individual who doesn't follow through with anything. Okay? They don't follow through. We got somebody here that doesn't follow through. They don't, they don't, there's no progress that there's no victory. Okay? There's no victory. I feel as though um, <laughs> this will bring you backwards. It will. Six is reverse is going in the wrong direction, going backwards. I feel like you have a friend or somebody, a friend of me. That's what it is. It's a friend of me that will bring you backwards if you will let them. If you let them. This is somebody that has neglected you in the past. This person is only in it for what they can get. They want to sit back and get a payout from your work. It's almost like taking credit for your work.
There's something illegal going on here. There is. Now, Princess of Wands is Page of Wands. That is an offer or an invite that is coming. You definitely have an offer coming. You do. Could be from a fire sign as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is uh, very feisty. This is a this is a attractive offer. It is going to be attractive. You are gonna. It's gonna look really, really, really good. It's not real. It's not practical. It's not. So I think that you need to uh, be careful. This person comes in with this offer out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. They will not follow through with it. They will not. This is like, it's just like a, it's just like a burst of, oh, I'm going to do this. And then it just dies like that. You know what I mean? It just, mm -mm doesn't go anywhere do not sign any agreements with this person they're in it for themselves they, it's almost like they're scheming something up you're dealing with a schemer this person is scheming something up to get more than their fair share the answer is no 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 caution that is caution. This you you are dealing with somebody that is lying. There's unseen problems ahead. They're hiding something. Somebody is hiding something. They really 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 are. There's more to this than meets the eye. You're going to get an offer that is seems it is too good to be true. Trust me, it is. The moon is ruled by the shadow. What you see is not what you get. Capricorn, my advice to you is to not invest in anything right now. You know what you say to this person? You know what? Let's think let's let's talk about this. Let's let's give it 2 weeks. Let's give it 2 weeks. We'll, we'll, we'll revisit this in two weeks to see if we see if you still want to do it. In two weeks, this person will be long gone because they have no staying power. But then you will still have you still have the the opportunity in your hand. You'll still have the money. You'll still have the abundance, and you will be very grateful that you did not repeat the same mistake. This is a life lesson. It is a lesson. It's about it's a lesson about time. It's a lesson about value. It's a lesson about um, impulsive behavior. Okay, it is. You got somebody coming in out of nowhere. They're gonna make you an offer that is attractive. It is a very attractive offer, but let me tell you, there is no payout coming from it. Good luck.